special evening at a very historic location for a very historic event. My name is Greg Peterson. I am the co-founder of the Robert H. Jackson Center, and I'm honored to be your master of ceremonies and to welcome you to Chautauqua Institution and to Chautauqua County, the Chief Justice of the United States, John G. Roberts, Jr. You may or may not know this, but the Chief Justice was a history major at Harvard. As indicated, this is an historical evening on many accounts. For it was 10 years ago to the day that Chief Justice William H. Rehnquist dedicated the Jamestown facility known as the Robert H. Jackson Center, whose mission is to preserve, promote, and advance the legacy of Justice Jackson through education, exhibitry, and events which emphasize the current relevance of Jackson's ideas on individuals' freedom and justice. We honor that legacy by recognizing its relevance tonight. And we have a lot of history in this room. As you will recall, Justice Jackson was born in 1892 in Warren County, Pennsylvania. He was the only man in the history of the United States to become Solicitor General, Attorney General and a Justice of the United States Supreme Court, which he became in 1941. Subsequently, in 1945 and 1946, he became the Chief American Prosecutor of the International Military Tribunal at Nuremberg, a position which he deemed to be one of the most gratifying. Tonight, we have in our midst Phil Neal, who was Robert H. Jackson's law clerk during the 1943 and 44 Supreme Court terms. And we welcome Phil and Linda Neal. <laughs> History also informs us that it was constitutional law professor Phil Neal who introduced his number one student, William H. Rehnquist, to his former boss, Justice Robert H. Jackson, while the justice was visiting Stanford Law School. We know because of that visit, Justice Jackson was offered, offered the clerkship to William Rehnquist, and he accepted and he served during the 1951 and 52 Supreme Court terms. We also know, because all of you have read that fact, that our special guest, Chief Justice John G. Roberts, after graduating from Harvard Law School, clerked for Judge Henry Friendly, and then subsequently became the clerk for Associate Justice William Rehnquist during the 1980 term. You get the picture? <laughs> Warren County, Jackson, Rehnquist, of course, that was through Neil, uh, Roberts, and just to complete the cycle, because you may not know this fact, this year, based on the good work of uh, an individual for the Honorable Jeffrey Sutton, who was Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals, who was from Warren, Pennsylvania, Chief Justice Roberts hired as one of his law clerks, Ben Snyder, who happens to be from Warren, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I love history, and we learn much from it. We've learned the greatness of Robert H. Jackson, and our Robert Jackson Center is designed to honor that legacy. Finally, at Nuremberg, Justice Jackson had a bodyguard, one bodyguard, and that bodyguard was Moritz Fuchs, who subsequently, after the trials, went on to become Father Moritz Fuchs. He joins us today, and we're honored to have him with us today as the last surviving member of the Inner Nuremberg Circle of Robert H. Jackson. I would like to call up Father Moritz Fuchs to do the invocation. Everybody would please rise.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you have blessed our nation wondrously through all stages of our development. We have struggled from an individual and personal pursuit of freedom and justice to a point in history where we became a nation united in awareness of your divine favor. In the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag, we acknowledge that we are one nation under God. We only ask your divine blessing this evening, these days, as now we gather over food and conversation to remember and to honor Robert H. Jackson. We see him as one who worthily promoted and exemplified the noble goals of our American enterprise, seeking true freedom and the development of our deepest longings. As we experience and enjoy these freedoms tonight, renew our association with great memories and friendships. Bless us with an ever deeper appreciation of the blessing it is for us to be Americans, one nation under God. Amen. Before we get too comfortable, if you read the piece, there's more to come before you eat. As you know, history is a wonderful thing. And I'd like to call out somebody very special. As your history will tell you, Chief Justice Roberts was born in Buffalo. And Stayed there until age eight, I believe. But we have in our presence tonight Chief Justice Roberts' godfather, Tom DePasquale. And Tom, if you could stand, and we'd like to welcome you. <laughs> <laughs> 